Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn customize. So here we are going to learn Kubernetes native configuration management. Okay. So let's start to understand Kubernetes native configuration management. Okay. So first of all here, we are going to cover these contents. What is customize? How customize works? Features of customize for Kubernetes configuration management and benefits of customize for Kubernetes configuration management. So let's start. So first of all, we need to understand what is customize. Okay. So here, customize is a tool for managing and customizing configuration for applications deployed on Kubernetes. And it offers a declarative approach, meaning you define what you want to achieve rather than how to achieve it. Then customize focus on overlays and patches allowing you to customize existing YAML manifest without directly editing them. And this keeps you original files clean and reusable. Then customize is available as a standalone tool and is also integrated with the kubectl command. Okay, so we have used kubectl commands, right? So that's the uh, customize. After that here, as you can see how customize works. So you can see first of all YAML file and in the left side GitHub, the Helm, Kubernetes and here dev env then stag env in project. Okay, that's the environment. Okay. So as you can see, customize and Helm can works with Git repositories for managing Kubernetes configuration and Helm chart respectively. As you can see your Helm chart, right? Okay. Then you can version control or your configuration or chart in Git repositories and then use either tool to deploy or manage them. And this enables configuration, versioning, and tracking changes over time in a structured manner. Then next is we are we are going to learn features of customize for Kubernetes configuration management. So let's understand for what is the features, different features of customize for Kubernetes configuration management. So the first feature is layered configuration. So in layered configuration, there is a separation of concerns. So base layer holds the default configuration while overlays apply con environment specific changes without modifying the base. Then next is reusability. So base configuration can be reused across different deployments, promoting consistency and reducing, C reducing duplications. Then environment specific customization overlays allows to targeted changes for specific environments, for example, dev, shagging, prod. So without modifying the base configuration. And then next is maintainability. So maintainability clears separation of concern between base configuration and environment specific adjustment. The next feature is declarative management. So in this, first of all, we need to focus on what needs to be changed rather than how to change it. Then simplifies configuration management and reduces the risk of errors. And for example, specified desired image for a deployment in customization YAML, that means configuration file and customize automatically applies the changes. Next feature is template-free customization. So uses plain YAML file for both base configuration and overlays, making them easier to read and maintain compared to templating languages. Then reduces the complexity of managing configuration and avoids potential issues with templating syntax. Then fourth, uh, feature is additional features. So in this feature, first of all, resource filtering. So in this include exclude specific types of resources in the final configuration. Then image overrides, overrides container image version for different environment directly in customization YAML. That means co configuration file of customization. Then name prefixing. So prefix resource names to avoid conflicts across deployments. Then customize build. So command for generating the final merge YAML based on the base and overlays. 
after that integration with kubectl so use the k flag with kubectl and apply directly apply customization customize configuration okay and then now now we need to un understand benefits of customization for Kubernetes configuration management. So there are so many benefits of Kubernetes, you know, customization of our Kubernetes management configuration. So first of all, here we are going to learn some few benefits. So first of all, the first benefit is improved organization. So layered approach keeps configuration organization and maintainable, then reduce complexity. Declarative approach simplifies configuration management, increases efficiency, reusability, and environment specific customization, streamline deployments, and enhance collaboration. So, easier to share and understand plain YAML file compared to templated configurations. Okay. Then customize architecture. So here, customize release on layer architecture for managing Kubernetes configuration. So first of all, base layer. So in this base layer, forms foundation and contains the default configuration for an application or component. These configuration are typically stored in plain YAML files. Then the base layer serves as a common starting point for all con environment and deployments. Then second layer is patch layer. So we can also say overlays. So these layers sit on top of the base layer and contain specific changes for different environment or use cases. So patches use strategic merge patching to modify specific field within the base configuration and multiple patches layer can be applied sequentially to build up more specific configuration. Then third is customization file. That means customization YAML file, configuration file. Okay. So this file acts as control center for customized operation. It defines the path to the base layer and any patches layer that should be applied. Then additionally, it can specify various op options like resource, in resource, include, exclude specific types of resources, images, override container images in deployment, the name prefix, prefix all resources names to avoid conflicts. Then fourth number is output. So customize process the layered configuration and generates a final merge YAML file ready for deployment to Kubernetes. So this file final output reflects the combines, combined configuration from the base layer and all the applied patches. Then benefits of layered architecture. So benefits is reusability based configuration can be reused across different deployment promoting consistency and reducing duplications the environment specific customization patches allowed for targeted changes for specific environment for example deployment sorry development tagging and production without modify the base configuration and the next is maintainability so maintainability clear separation for concerns between base configuration and environment specific adjustment. So that's the benefits of layer architecture. So this layer architecture empowers that customized to manage Kubernetes configuration efficiency, promoting maintainability and customization across multiple environments. Okay, the next stage here, why do we need customize? Okay, so Kubernetes customized. So why do we need customize? So the reason is first is managing multiple environments. So here different configuration in different configuration production, tagging and development environments often need slightly different settings. For example, sources, limits, replica counts and images tags. Then customize solution. So create a base manifest, then use overlay for environment specific changes. And it helps you to avoid duplicated code and manual edits that are error prone. Okay. And then the here, as you can see, the base layer. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
okay the next next is why do we need customize next is maintaining cleanliness and reusability okay mm -hmm. so modular manifest customized promotes modularity and your base manifest stay generic and environment or application specific changes leave in their separate overlays then increase reusability so the same base configuration can be reused across many environments okay then the third reason is simplifying complex deployments so in this simplifying complex deployments, first is large applications and next second is customized solution. So in large applications, complex system often require, require injection, injecting configuration from multiple sources, for example, database credentials from secrets and then features flags from config maps. And in customized solution, customized lets you cleanly combine this disparate pieces into a final configuration now the next is kubernetes customize in this kubernetes customize next next topic is key use cases so let's understand key use cases of kubernetes customize so the first is environment customization so in this adjacent setting for different deployment environments then secret and config maps integrations then managing multiple teams and the fourth one is modularizing applications. So in this breaking down complex application into reusable components that can be customized as needed. Okay, so after that, as you can see the diagram, first of all here, customization YAML, deployment.yaml and then service.yaml. So in this base file, as you can see, base directory, core environment, agnostic, then Kubernetes manifest and in this overlays additional directories that contain modifications or customization. Okay, dev stat and prod. Okay, in this customization.yaml, deployment.yaml, and service.yaml. After that, build customized manifest for each environment and here dev deploy to dev, deploy to stage, deploy to prod. As you can see, dev cluster, stage cluster, and prod cluster. Okay. So first of all, as you can see here, summary of customize is a necessity when you need. So first is flexibility, organization, efficiency. Adapting deployment to different environment easily, then organization keep your Kubernetes manifest structured and manageable. Efficiency, avoiding redundant code and streamline the configuration process. Then, Key customized concepts. So concept is customization.yaml file, base and overlays, transformers and patches. Okay, so first is customization.yaml file. So this is configuration file that serves as the entry point for customize and it tells how to customize Kubernetes resources. So it serves as the control file where you specify what resources to include and how to customize them and other configurations. So it typically resides in the root directory of your customized project. This file essentially tells customize what to do with your Kubernetes manifest. Okay, so as you can see the core, first of all, that's the customization.yaml file. API version, then kind, customization, base, then overlays, common labels, app, my app, environment de developer development, then patches, patch service.yaml file, target, in target, kind, service, name, my app service, and namespace. Right. And in root directory, as you can see. So now let's break down the directory structure. First of all, project root base. Okay. So contains the original Kubernetes manifest example deployment.yaml and service.yaml. Then project root overlays dev. Contains overlay specific configuration for the development environment, for example, deployment patches.yaml file. Right. The next is project root customization.yaml file. So the main configuration file here orchestrating the customization process. 
फाउंडेशन and they are stored separately and refer referenced in the sources selection section of customization.yaml file then overlays so these are additional layers of configuration that sit on top the base manifest providing environment specific adjustments and customized process overlays in the order they are listed allowing for progressive customization and as you can see analogy so environment first overlay adds replica count in increase for higher load and environment second overlay adds custom configurations for specific features so as you can see base plus overlay is equals to kubernetes manifest third is transformers so transformers are transformers are component is customized used to modify kubernetes resources configuration so they help in making changes to resource without directly modifying the original yaml file and common transformer includes common labels adds label to all resources name space set the main name space for all resources name prefix name suffix Right. So add prefix to suffix to resource name and transform help maintain consistency and streamline configuration changes across different environments. Then fourth one is patches. So patches are used to make targeted modification to Kubernetes resources. So they enable to make changes to specific field or properties of resources. there are different types of patches supported by customize strategic merge patch all of fine grained modification to resource fields json patch define a set of operations to apply to a json document then json 6902 all of applying changes to kubernetes resources using the json patch file so patches are applied on top of the base configuration and overlays allowing for granular customization without directly altering the organization resources then common patch use cases so adjusting resources settings like replica count memory request or environment variables for different environments then injecting secrets and configuration values securely at develop, deployment time then modifying specific labels or annotations okay so that's it for kubernetes customize okay so it's done for customize so in this session we have learned kubernetes native configuration management and in this session we have learn what is customize how customize works features of customize for kubernetes configuration management benefits of customize for kubernetes configuration management and after that here as you can see the use cases okay why do we need customize okay then as you can see the kubernetes customize this architecture right so on so in this session we have learned this customize that means kubernetes native configuration management so thank you for watching and i hope you understand